I will always make the decision I made. I am not a human. Okay, so um, last season, Kara kind of sort of trusted her instincts more than like what other people were telling her, and it kind of backfired a bit. Are we going to see her sort of become less trusting in season three, or is she still going to try and take the best of it? Uh, in season three, where we pick up, she's really um, kind of withdrawn into herself. And I think the only opinion she will trust is her own. Uh, she's very much just the scales of whether or not she's Cara Dan juggling Cara Danvers and Supergirl is leaning very much towards Supergirl right now. And I think it's because of what she lost in season three and the pain she felt. So I think someone who has lost their entire world and their family and their parents must have abandonment issues. And she just experienced it again as an adult, so we're just seeing her grapple with that. No, kind of pressing this. I think the question, am I an alien or am I a human, is coming into effect. Well, do you think it's darker now this season? And do you like that it's a little bit darker if it is? There is, yeah, I definitely think it's more darker. It's more adult, certainly for her. She's always, she, we've, the way I've lived in her skin up till now has been sunny and positive, and she always finds the silver lining. She always knows there's a way. Uh, now it's very much like she is business, and she is not talking about how she feels. And she's her, she's like ironclad strong right now, but there's a lot of vulnerability underneath. And I like it. I think that's the natural progression of where it should go. I mean, every woman experiences that, every person experiences that, and I wanted to explore every facet of them, like being a female. What's your opinion about knowing that she's I think it's great. <laughs> I think it's great, and I want to see the scene where they talk about it. <laughs> and I don't know if it would be as Supergirl as Cara Danvers, but it'd be hilarious. How long do you think she's known? Since the beginning? Oh, yeah. I think Kat probably knew from the get-go and just, like, feigned that she didn't. But Kara, I still don't think Kara knows that Kat knows. <laughs> it would mess up equilibrium. As the season kicks off, which of her relationships kind of come to the fore? Which ones are sort of like right in her face if they start the season? Absolutely with Alex. I mean, Alex, I think, cares for her more than anyone. So, everyone, though, this, this core that she has that's so beautiful with John Jones as this paternal role, and Eliza, and Alex, and even Maggie, and Lena as her best friend, and Jer uh, Wynn and James, they are all very worried because it's so out of character for her. Um, so you'll see quite a bit of everyone kind of poking her and being like, are you all right in there? <laughs> <laughs> so, I love your work in Lowriders. Oh, thanks. Are you working on anything in between uh, seasons or uh, shows? No, no. I just wrapped a mini-series this summer that I'm excited for everyone to see in January uh, called Waco. Uh, and, yeah, that's January. I can't remember, but it's on Spike becoming Paramount Network. So we saw a little bit. Oh, sorry, that's sorry. Okay. Thank you. Take care.